operatives of the Nigerian police force have arrested 16 suspects for being behind the various killings and various violence in the southeastern states, particularly targeted against the police personnel and police stations in recent times. According to the police, among the suspects arrested were two pastors. The pastors are said to be a pastor with a holy blessed Trinity Sabbath church in Olu in Emo State, while Prophet Michael Uba is said to be a cleric with the Association of Jewish Faiths. Recall that Nambikano had said that the Igbos are of the Jewish uh, descendants or foundation as it were. They were arrested for allegedly being the masterminds of the various attacks on security personnel in the southeastern part of the country and in addition to providing spiritual cover for the gang. The Nigerian police said in a release on Sunday that the Eastern Security Network used one of the pastor's house as an operational base and that he also donated his late brother's farm for use as a hideout and a training camp for the gang. According to the public relations officer of the force, CP Frank Mba, he said that the arrest which is an outcome of painstaking, deliberate, and tireless efforts by operatives of the Nigerian police force in collaboration with other counterparts from the Nigerian army and the air force is aimed at bringing to justice persons responsible for the emerging trend of attacks on security personnel and wanton destructions of security facilities and operational assets in the region. He said that in the course of their investigation, the men were implicated in multiple felonies committed across several states in the southeastern part of the Federation. The suspects were arrested in various parts of the country, according to reports, following sustained and intelligence-driven sting operations. Police investigations clearly established and linked the suspects to several incidents of attacks and murder of security personnel, as well as stealing unlawful possession of firearms, committing arson, and malicious damage to operational assets of the military and law enforcement agents. Specifically, investigations reveal that the arrested men were among the criminal elements that attacked policemen on duty at various checkpoints in the southeastern part of the country, some along Olu Ihiala Road in Imo State, while two policemen were killed and a police Hilux van was set ablaze. According to the police, some of the suspects confessed to be active members of IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, and the Eastern Security Network. Well, be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The Nigerian police have actually come out to say that they have arrested over 16 um, people in the southeastern part of the country from various states who were uh, who are members of the IPOB and the Eastern Security Network, but majorly two pastors as masterminders of the killings and the violence in the southeast. Well, it is what it is. There are questions that need answers, if you ask me. And um, if anybody who doesn't says he or she probably did not see this coming after the deployment of soldiers and combination of joint tax force or joint military functions into the southeastern part of the country just a few days ago, should uh, uh, anybody who does not expect this or see this coming should probably um, 
not was not thinking in that direction or have not given it a thought. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But be that as it were, we published news the other day saying that anarchy looms and that youths and especially people in the South East should be careful because innocent people might eventually be arrested, captured, all in the nay in the bid to prove to their superiors that they are working. This tactics it has been effective and they've been using it all along in this uh, country. The Nigerian security forces are fond of doing so. So it is not new and it is not the first time or the second time or the third time that these people will be carrying out such tactics. While we are not saying that the arrest is, um, uh, is not true, but we are ha expressing fears that some of these people might just be innocent of the arrest and the crimes that they are being uh, accused of because we know what is possible in this country. The question is how many bandits have been arrested in the northern part of the country ever since the issue of banditry became a thing? Now people have been arrested in the southeast and they have been called or claimed to be members of the Eastern Security Network. But the issue is, how about those bandits that have been holding operations, running aground uh, the economy and the lives of people in that part of the country? How many bandits have so far been arrested by the police or by the security forces? Or how many of them have been outrightly killed ever since the shoot on site order was released by the president? You know, I stand to be corrected, but I do not in any way see or have heard of any of this uh, any of them being killed or arrested so it shows that there is a gang up against the people of the southeast to a very large extent because if within a number of days that the security forces were deployed into the southeast they have made arrest don't worry don't forget that they are now they say they arrested 16 the other day in Aba, it was also 16 were said to have been killed but what happens to the northern part of the country? Why are special forces not deployed? Or why are we not hearing of the arrest and kidna uh, uh, killings of bandits who have committed heinous crimes? So to a very large extent, you see that something is wrong somewhere. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but this is just me expressing the fears that I have and also expressing my observations, which I have a right to. But it is what it is. If this is not a fake news, then maybe something is wrong somewhere. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. Well, but guys, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news stories. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Please endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.